Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat. Today we're going to budget our actual column for our third paycheck of December. Our actual column. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded pretty weird. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. If you are new, welcome. Just so you know, I go ahead and do a, um, I like to call it my skeleton or to cover my butt budget on this column. So before every paycheck, um, and actually I have this for every paycheck, I budget the lowest amount that I have gotten paid for that paycheck and budget the highest amount so far that I know that bills have been, you know, come up as. That way I know the lowest amount and the highest a bill has been, I have my butt covered. So that's how I fill out my budget. And the other night it couldn't sleep, so I went ahead and did that for all <laughs> for all my paychecks. So you guys didn't get to see this part, but we're actually going to do the actual column today. So let's go ahead and get started. So I got paid 2816 and we had a rollover of $65. So we're just gonna go ahead and add those up. 2816 plus 65 and if you hear any little pause in the background <laughs> I apologize that's my dog out there I did make some popcorn which I'm munching on right now I actually have some right over here <laughs> and she loves popcorn okay so a lot of these are let me go ahead and get a marker from over here that way we can go ahead and mark uh, some automated bills okay so this comes out automatic, so does this, so does this, 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 and this. <laughs> so those, for the most part, stay the same. So I know my student loan, this is fixed. Um, so is our truck payment. So is straight talk. So is this bill, which is one of my workout templates. Then PlayStation. Our second straight talk bill, utilities. I did find out how much our utilities were for the actual column, $62. So I was close. Apple Music stays the same. And our energy bill has gone up just a bit. And that's obviously because it's been colder. So this has gone up actually about $45. We're at $175. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and add these up real quick. Okay, after several several tries, this is the correct number. We are at 1139, and I'm just gonna subtract this income total from there. Goodness gracious, why am I why are my words like combined together and all slurred? <laughs> okay, 1742 is what is left. Okay. 1742. Now these are the same, but we do have an extra category to add in here. So we got 80 for week, um, and this is not like actual week one, but this is like the following week. It just makes me, I just put this to remind myself I'm budgeting for two weeks of things. So 80 for gas, 80 for gas for the next week, 150 for groceries, 150 for groceries, 50 for my husband, 50 for my husband spending, and then we do have health. And we are budgeting 165 for this. So since this all stay the same, I'm just gonna add this 165 to this number here that I have already totaled up. Okay, so we are at 725. I'm gonna do that one more time. Goodness gracious, my, my dog over there, she's, <laughs> she is something. She's over there licking her paws. Okay, yes. So I'm just going to subtract this from my leftover total. 725. Okay, we're at 1017. Let me do that again just to make sure. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to be bringing that up here to what is left, which is quite a bit. I'm like, am I doing this right? Did I do this right? Oh, this is crazy. Okay, so we are going to do truck insurance. I'm going to go ahead and put 100 into there. And I was going to put 480 into savings, probably still do that. 
480. And let's just go ahead and total these out. Um, let's see, 100 plus 480. Oops. 100 plus 480. Okay, so that equals 580. So let's subtract that from this actual column. Okay, that leaves us with 437 left. That is a quite a bit of money. Let me go ahead and make sure all my numbers are correct just to make sure. So we got 2881 minus all our bills, 1139 minus our envelopes, 25 minus our sinking funds. Okay, that is right. Okay, wow. All right, so what does Kat do from here? Well, first things first, I know that I would like to um, put some money towards, oh, that's, it's, it's a very good question. I'm not sure if I should go ahead and put another, oh my goodness, probably another 300 into um, our savings. And I really want to get my nails done. I have not gotten my nails done, but at the same time, oh my goodness, guys, look at my hands, they look horrible. Um, but at the same time, it's like, is it really a necessity? And last weekend, friends, that was my mission to get my nails done. And everywhere they were short staffed. So they say, like, you know, walk walk ins welcome. They should have just removed that from every salon's sign and just said, you know what, we're short staffed. We can only make an appointment. I could not get in anywhere. It was it was hectic. I don't, I'm not sure if it's because of the holidays. Um, so we're going to circle back to this when I do my expense tracking. Um, I would really like to put this into savings. I'm going to see if my husband needs anything. I think he needs like some <laughs> like new socks and things like that. Not socks, but like underwear, things like that. So I'm going to make sure that he has what he needs and then I'll move the rest to savings. Um, I'm not sure if maybe I want to do this on camera and like save it like in cash, we'll see. I was thinking that I was already gonna get my savings challenge um, stuff from Etsy already, but I haven't yet. And she hasn't even shipped my stuff yet. I do have some items shipped, but the other person, she hasn't shipped my items yet. And I asked her, well, am I gonna get these before January? And she says, oh yeah, probably even before then. But by the looks of it, I'm not sure when, <laughs> if that's going to be a reality. So, Yes, so we'll circle back on this. For right now, I'm just gonna leave it in my checking account cushion. So leftovers 437, 437. And we'll probably go ahead and put most of this into savings. I'm going to put 437 and I'm just gonna put emergency fund in here. And probably going to put, how much did I say about 300? Leaving us with 137 and that's what's going to be in my role in my checking account cushion which i need to designate what i'm going to do with this money because cat will spend this will spend money if there's money in the checking account cushion so need to make sure that we have everything that we need but again i'll circle back and see where we're at on this with this when i do my expense tracking just for the sake of the length of this video oh and friends I got my end of the year review with my company and I got a $2 raise. I'm super excited. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. And I have a goal setting uh, video coming soon of my goals and the things that I want to dial in and focus on for 2022. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.